I've sunk an enemy destroyer. In the seas of battle's roar, there's a druid to watch for. Don't let him sneak around. Keep your eyes on the battleground. Hold the line, don't let him flank. In world of warships, guard your rank. Watch the waves, don't be fooled by the druid's cunning moves. Hey, team, this is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. As always, fun video for you with the druid flanking, and is uh, probably a good lesson for both sides that uh, don't ever let a druid flank. But before we begin, like, subscribe, button below. Appreciate all the supporters of the channel. If you'd like to support, go ahead and uh, do what we uh, uh, ask for right there below on the screens. And uh, as always, thank you guys enough. Can't uh, uh, you know we wouldn't be here with if it wasn't for you guys. You bring great ideas, comments, building a great community, and as always, learning something from it. And we're having a blast. So let's get right to it. So druid. You don't know what it is. Tier 10 a British uh, DD, ma main gunbow DD. And the biggest thing is it just has two guns in front, no torpedoes. So you can, there's pros and cons on both of that. I've already done videos, but uh, check it out. Uh, this is available in the Research Bureau. Kind of like the sister to the Vampire. If you don't want the Vampire 2, you can try out the Druid and see how you like it. But um, one of my favorite destroyers in the game, a Druid by far. Um, and it's because it just focuses on one thing. And I've always said, jack of all trades, master of none. If you, if you can't be really, really good at something, uh, then you're just average at everything else. So I always say, well, let's, uh, since I'm a DD gunboat main, I just said, well, let's focus on being a gunboat destroyer. And what better to do that with Druid that just focuses on two 127 millimeter guns that just absolutely come out of the barrel screaming, just kind of like rail guns and just do havoc on everything. And you can see on this map, we're just uh, flanking. And I have two ships in the back that I'm not going to say anything bad about, but honestly, they're not supporting me at all. I mean, one's hiding behind an island, the other one retreats. Uh, if you have a destroyer up front that's literally just just non-stop firing and they're just doing and all their sh enemy ships are firing at the dd don't you think you would want to go help and take advantage of the situation and this is probably a good lesson for cruisers and battleships if you see your little destroyer up there that has no torpedoes that's literally taken on three ships don't you think you would probably want to push up and help them out but anyways i had to digress uh, well, you know what if no one's going to help us we'll do it ourselves anyway someone always told me you know what uh, damn torpedoes full speed ahead we'll do it ourselves um, I actually had somebody tell me that, and uh, you know, in the mil military, you take a lot of those words to heart. So, uh, in this sim similar situation, you know what? I'm going to take on a battleship, a cruiser, and another battleship that actually comes into play, and I'm just going to take advantage of these broadsides. And you can see the 227 millimeter guns just wreck havoc, especially with the smokescreen hydro. Hydro is really just good enough just to spot these torpedoes from far away. For great acceleration, you can see the druid starts and stops just like the daring does, and, and the vampire very from zero to 30 knots very very quick allows you to do these. Quick, quick uh, hit and run tactics, and you have the quick smoke of the DD main, uh, British DD main line, which uh, really helps you conceal yourself and does very, very well. Notice that the, the uh, Druid also takes a beating. I mean, if you build this up to, you can get Survivability Expert. It gets up to 30,000 HP, or 28,000, I believe. Uh, I elected not to do it because I want to focus on the RPF and gunboat and see if we can do this. I mean, we're getting broad sides right here, especially when everybody's just running away, turning away. I mean, nobody's charging me. If you want to really take on the Druid, just charge it. The Druid really can't do much. If you charge it, it's got no torpedoes, right? But again, these players are just all circling around. Look at my battleship in the back, just running away, Buki hiding behind the island. You know what? Doesn't matter, we'll just do it ourselves. I notice I can't pin the main armor of the uh, Awami here, so guess what? We're gonna shoot the bow, and then usually the bow is the weakest part of the ship for these small caliber guns, so that's what we'll do. And of course, we've knocked them down as much as we can, and now we're just focusing on the main superstructure right here, and we're gonna get this kill. Boom, he goes down, splash one. Now we're gonna take on the broadside cruiser right here, and this is where the Druid excels. Broadside cruisers, look at that, taking on all that damage, and there's just really nothing uh, he can do about it other than just like wait for his reel to come off cooldown and then fire at us. He'll uh, probably take out one of our guns, but we re repair it right then. That's why we save the damage con to repair the gun because the guns break so easily. And do we take him out? And yeah, yes, we do. Splash 2. Again, 100,000 damage right there for just me uh, with, as a destroyer and my battleship and everybody cruiser are running away. And guess what? I'll take on a Thunderer. Why not go ahead at it? Here's a classic drive-by right here. His guns are too slow to traverse, and that's the power of there. And his secondaries just uh, are too weak to do anything much right there. So we're going to go ahead and run by him and get away from that close detection range of at least, I believe it's two. So we got to get two kilometers out. And, of course, we have other people firing at us. Again, we're taking on another cruiser and a destroyer. So why not? Let's take on the whole fleet at Alpha here, and then we'll pop smoke, get undetected. Hopefully my damage con comes off a cooldown. 
and finally we get it up. So look at all the damage we did right there. And I'm, well, you know what? Why not take out this destroyer as well? We'll call it a third kill. And right here, he's not facing us. So we'll go ahead and pump that fire power of AP right into his side. The angles are incredible, up to 72, I believe. And just look at that. And he goes down right there. Very good on the finishing move. And uh, the drive-by on the Thunderer for the Cruiser, not so good. I don't know why he was trying to ram him. Uh, but if he had not rammed him, we probably would have done... Uh, okay right here. I mean, look at that. We're still doing damage. Like 2,200 every second. I mean, that would be awesome if we just kept it alive. And, of course, we get shot by Marseille from the blind side. But <laughs> that was the power of the Druid flank. And now, look, someone complained, oh, my gosh, this is why people are leaving the game. Because, look, it's a blowout, right? But no, no, no. Actually, in World of Warships, look, we were leading by, what, eight ships or something to their uh, six? And guess what? Um, just let it play through. Ship dies. Ship dies. Another ship dies right here. Uh, yeah, carrier, of course. Uh, no bueno. Yep, look at that. Goes from, we had like literally an uh, eight ship uh, to their five or six, and uh, or well, we had, we're a blowout, and guess what? We can still lose it. So don't ever give up in World of Warships. You can definitely blow a game. What's called a you know, game of throws. But anyways, here's another game of the power of the Druid flanking, and so we're going to go ahead and start, our, start off by flanking the same map, uh, ironically, but on the other side. And this time we're going to flank, and uh, we're just going to take on a Schlieffen from range. Is uh, we're out of his secondary range, so it's not going to do much. But look at the just damn raw damage of just what the Druid can do on a broadside battleship, and uh, just not enough. And there he goes, first kill of the day, right there. That's splash one, and keep that in mind now. Now, here we go. So we sail all through the southern end of the spawn, and now we're coming on the flank of the western side of Alpha. And here we go, taking on the Kleber, 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 Kleber. And then, of course, we just pump so much AP into him, it doesn't matter. His French saturation can't do anything about that. We uh, you know, get Cunningham's. Uh, perk which we get an extra heal which is always great and extra consumable and now look at the raw damage of what we can do against a broadside uh satsuma and just just massive amounts of damage like 2200 at a time uh that is just raw firepower now of course he's got heals he's got a, a, a gimmick of the ar arms race so he's got it he's got the heals he's got the extra heal of the arms upgrade and uh, now we're just pumping as much AP as we, into him as we can. I think I get a little distracted after this, but just, I mean, something soothing about this. I don't know about you guys, but something just watching numbers tick up off a of broadside battleship, I don't know what it is. Just something soothing about it. Very, very enjoyable. That's why I guess it keeps people coming back in that regard. Uh, it keeps me coming back. And uh, look at this. We're going to try to take on the Yoshino. Yoshino. Uh, because I thought, hey, Broadside Cruise, let's take one set of guns out of the game, but unfortunately he's turning away, and uh, you know what? Let's go back to the Satsuma and continue farming him. The thing I like about the Druid is just the fast-firing reload guns. You don't have to take Fearless Brawler AFT. I mean, one point... Goodness gracious, 1.2 second reload is just devastating. I mean, and, and this guy's angled. You know, look at the angle. I just pump all this into his superstructure with the improved AP on the uh, Commander build. You can really do a serious amount of hurt on somebody... Uh, and they just can't do anything about it. I mean, they're, he's trying to run away, but I'm just constantly... <laughs> you, they're the power of the Druid. You can make two ships literally run away from a cap, and uh, we're down. We literally are seven ships to three here, and uh, we're going to just see if we can survive this onslaught. I mean, it is very difficult sometimes to kill Druid at range, especially at this platform. It's kind of like a nose-in Petro kind of play style, but it's just constant firing. You notice all that smoke coming off the front of my ship? Yeah, that's the guns just constantly melting the barrels there. And we are just going to pump. And again, to get a cruiser and a battleship to fire at you, that's saying a lot. Because it, rather than use their big guns on uh, other ships that are more important, they'd rather do it on us. But again, I guess we're the only ships left in the game, and we're the only ones I can see. Because uh, we're just doing all the damage and all the work. 157,000 damage with five minutes left to go in the game. And just look at all that fire. Now, here's the fun part right here. This is probably the most enjoyable part of the game. Conqueror, you know, armor's pretty strong maybe in the midsection. But you are going to focus on the bow. And look at all the damage. Now, notice we're at 162 damage, 62,000 damage now. Right here, starting right now, set your clock. And just watch all this firepower that we're going to put on the bow. And just look at the numbers tick up. It's just like watching cash flow, right? We're doing cash flow, passive income. He's constant firing damage into his bow. And then he pops his heel, which he reprints the ship. But you know what? We're going to keep up with inflation here. We're going to keep on pumping it down. Now let's raise interest rates right into his bow and see if we can keep his income from going up. And oh my goodness, look at that. 1,000, 1,400, 1,000, 858, 14,000, 858. I mean, oh my gosh, constant. And this is probably the most annoying thing about the Druid right here. He's just, you know cashing in the checks for damage and just melting away and this is something so soothing about it nothing the conqueror can do other than you know what uh i guess we're gonna sit here and take it elevator down 
straight to the bottom right there splash three right there and when we have the turbots on low health as well but here's my mistake i was too focused on aiming when i didn't realize yoshino torps they do <laughs> kill you also so my mistake right there i poured uh maneuverability on my bar but taking four ships out two hundred and fifty four thousand damage flying in but that is the power of the druid right there check it out research bureau try if you it's worth the grind but again we still lose right there but it was fun you know even with four kills hundred fifty four thousand damage we can't save the game but hope you enjoy the video power of the druid flank and don't let him flank and as always thank you guys for supporting the channel like scrub bubble below as always build will be at the end of the video and if you see me out there make sure you say hi hope you guys stay safe and take care cheers